Hello everyone. In this video I will explain a Chiproc external check functionality. This functionality opens new door for us. Just imagine with this functionality we can configure any kind of structured or non-structured databases or k-value stores as master-slave cluster behind of HA proxy. It means after learning cluster structure of any application which works like as master-slave we can execute any external script to determine state of cluster node. I mean is this master or slave? To configure Redis cluster in the standard way, we can find a lot of information from Google with TCP check tool. I mean, just imagine we will execute Redis commands with ping and response pong and execute info replication with state of a cluster, which will determine is this master or slave. With the external check way, check way, we will do all this stuff inside of scripts. The same thing I can say about Mongo cluster. To find Mongo master node, we can execute Mongo shell command to get state of Mongo master node. Similar stuff about PostgreSQL, we can get state cluster of JSON response of Patroni API. Just imagine right now our topology, like as in this image which I am showing, we have a J proxy, if we will like as this and smaller. I hope IP address, you can see IP address, it's IP address of the HA proxy with three ports which listens for Mongo, Redis and PostgreSQL and three nodes behind of HA proxy. Of course you can configure two HA proxy and keep alive the between them in on-premise servers but just for show I've used one HA proxy and behind of some three nodes and for each of them I've configured Mongo, Redis and PostgreSQL clusters which works inside of these IP addresses. And right now I will show you configuration of the HA proxy, what does it mean, external check. This is HA proxy configuration with external check component. Actually in global section external check it activates this functionality. From listen stats we can understand it's listening for admin credentials which we will, which we will see result of state of any backend or listen configuration inside of HA proxy. And I have configured Mongo master, Redis master, and PostgreSQL master actually. And just look at the most important part, it's external check path, which would define uh, path of the binary files which I am used inside of scripts to determine cluster state of each of the application. I mean, for master uh, node of the Mongo, master node of the Redis, and at the same time for master of node of the PostgreSQL. And I will open first script uh, which I have used. When I have started to learn how I will use this, the first stuff, after, of course, after learning stuff of Mongo cluster, and I found Mongo shell command which I, I can use to get state of the cluster. And with Mon Mongo shell, I needed an IP address of uh, my node to execute inside of this script. But that's why I have started to think how arguments will come inside of my script at the usage time. And that's why, firstly, I sent all arguments to be sure really arguments comes from HA proxy to my script to, uh, to the temp all arguments text file. It's just an example. And so, oh, really, I can get IP address of my node for each of the health check execution time. And it was good point because I could get IP address from the line which comes to my script and of course it's the state of MongoDB to catch is this master or not with a command which I will execute inside of each of nodes and from official page of the HA proxy I found if I will determine state of my node the exit code true zero it will be true to the HA proxy and with the exit code zero HA proxy will understand this is really master node and whole traffic must go to this uh, node. And exit code 1, it means it's, this is slave. And with the same name, of course, I've used for the Redis. Let me show content of the Redis. It is a password for Redis. I'm going to send command in for application. And it, it will respond to me the state like as master. If master, of course, state code will be zero like as in previous script which I showed you. 
the same thing for Postgres SQL, but right now I've used JSON response from Patronia, which with this JSON response I can catch state of the node with running and at the same time is this master or not with exit code of course zero to determine this is master or slave node replica node. And it's a admin page of the HA proxy for each of the application we can understand each of the application master nodes works in first one but if I will restart first node and look at the page each 10 seconds going to update page Ivan of course At the same time, I can see right now I'm connected to the HA proxy IP address for the MongoDB. As we see, I'm connected, everything works fine. And this is the viewer which connected to HA proxy port. And I can see I'm connected to PostgreSQL 2. Of course, from console, I can execute and for application command, it shows it's master node because I'm connecting to the second node. Yeah, because it's really master node right now. And I think it is all. I hope it will be useful to all of us. Of course, I will paste all code files which I am used in this video in comment section of the video. Thank you for watching.